Hey, this is Tyler. I want to talk to you a little bit about finding north or using natural things that you'll see when you go hiking in order to find your way home. So stick with me. So the ant piles in the western United States will leave a hole down here and about south southeast. The reason that they do that is because the sun rises in the east and it will hit that hole and it will warm them up. Then about 2 or 3 or 4 p.m., depending on what time of the year it is, that hole will then shade and it will start to cool off. And the majority of the little, of the little uh, tunnels and stuff will be in this side of the mound because that side of the mound is literally insulation against the sun. So because of that, you can pretty reliably use these little red, uh, red ant hills to find north. The way that you do that is you just remember the hole or the entrance is south southeast somewhere between south east southeast it's going to be in this quadrant so we were hiking earlier because i'm here with ethan and my little kid and i asked him when i walked up on this hole i said where do you think north is and we kind of tested it and threw these little uh willow shards on here from my toothbrush right so if you put this willow right about like that this should be north south east and west because that is in the southeast I'm gonna adjust it a little bit so it's a little more correct and I'm kind of ballparking it here I'm gonna talk in a second about why ballparking is totally okay but for now I think north is right about that direction roughly so let's get my phone out and test this Got my compass. So, right there is north. Okay, it's off by about, I don't know, 10 degrees. But, get the shadow over that. Right there is north. That stick is coming this way, but kind of curls. So, right there is north so now that we've tested this thing and that's that's the key when I go hiking I enjoy running to a location I enjoy like early morning pre sun or right after the Sun comes up jogging to a place hopping in the water getting a drink and heading back and doing other things but I also like just going for a hike catching some fish testing out the red ant piles and just seeing what works right so When you get an opportunity like this, test each ant pile and see if you can figure out where north is from the hole. Now, I talked a little bit earlier about how generally generalizing north is what's important. I'm not trying to shoot an azimuth, do my pace count, and find an exact location in the ground. I'm trying to find my way out of the canyon. I'm trying to find my way back to a city. These are larger landmarks. So if you're smart, whenever you travel to a place, you will find things that you can handrail with. As an example, in the western United States, the Wasatch Mountains or the Rocky Mountains, they go north and south. The one exception is the Uintas that go east and west. And it's the same way all the way up into Canada until you get to the Brooks Range. The Brooks Range go east and west. So you know if you're on the north side of the Brooks Range, you're headed to the Arctic. If you're on the south side, you're headed home, theoretically. So with those general pieces of understanding, you can do stuff like I did in the Columbian River Basin. When I went to Columbia, I was in a sea of trees and you're not gonna find any major landmarks in a sea of trees. So I carried my little compass on my wrist and I knew if something really bad went happened, if suddenly everyone I'm with died from whatever, if I went straight west, I would run into the Amazon River. Once I hit that Amazon River, if I just floated on a log, I would eventually run into the next city or even my backpack that was a dry bag. I could put it in the river, just sit on that river and just float until I get to the next city. So that was my fail safe plan. As an example, when I go into the Uintas, I know that I need to follow the spine west to get home, or I need to go off the north side to get to, to Wyoming, or off the south side to get to some major roads because there's not much down there. So if I take the general, general area of north as an example, 
we came into this canyon from the east, we headed south, okay? So I know if that Legend of Zelda map gets flipped upside down on my brain and I think this is the way out, I can use this to test this and say, no, I come in from the east and I went north or went south. So if I go north again, which is not that direction, I can get my way out. Hopefully this is valuable to you. If you're gonna use this technique, bring a compass until you learn how to eyeball it, test your theory, put two sticks or little lines on the top of the red ant hill and say, I think that's north. Then whip your compass out and say, yep, I'm right or I'm wrong. And keep in mind that if a ant hill gets stepped on or if an ant hill is right next to a big cliff or a tree, the shadow or the destruction can change the hole. If you were to crush this spot, which I won't, because that's not nice, then they'll pop up with a new ant hole in a different location. If we come over here real quick, there's multiple holes on this ant hill because someone's crushed it and it's a good example. So if we look at this hole, you can see this is probably the original hole. And then here's another hole and another hole and another hole. And that's a telltale sign. No ant pulled that big rock up on top of that ant hill. Also, we have these crush marks where either people or animals have crushed it. Still, the holes are within south southeast quadrant, but I've seen holes come clear over here on the other side because there's a big cliff on this side that changes the shadow or because that other side of the anthill got so crushed by something they were only left with coming out that back side so it's really important to take the average of the holes it's important to practice this and then eventually you'll get to the point where you can keep that map running in your head without having to pull your phone out or whatever and you can check the map that's in your head with the local things as you come walking along let me know what you use to find north. Are you using termite mounds? Are you using lichen on the side of the tree? How do you find north in your area? Don't forget to subscribe, hit like, and leave the comments. And thank you for watching.